What is DTE in options trading? DTE is the short form of days to expiration. The options contract has many expirations. Daily expiry, weekly expiry, monthly expiry, bi-monthly expiry, yearly expiry, etc. Depending upon exchange rules and regulations. Daily expiry means an options contract is valid only for one day, and there will be an expiry each and every single day. Weekly expiry means an options contract is valid only for a week, and there will be an expiry day once every week. Monthly expiry means an options contract is valid only for a month, and there will be an expiry day once every month. Bi monthly expiry means an options contract is valid only for two months, and there will be an expiry day once every two months. Now let's see with some picture examples from where you can see the expiry day intervals in the options chain for your better understanding. What you are seeing here is the options chain of the S&P 500. Look at the date intervals. It's a one day interval which means this is a daily expiry options chain, and these options contracts will expire by the end of this trading session. After today's expiry, the next expiry day will be the next day, which is July 23rd, 2024, and that continues. What you are seeing here is the options chain of the QQQ ETF. Look at the date intervals. It's a one-day interval which means this is a daily expiry options chain, and these options contracts will expire by the end of this trading session. After today's expiry, the next expiry day will be the next day, which is July 23rd, 2024, and that continues. What you are seeing here is the options chain of Tesla company stock. Look at the date intervals. It's a weekly interval which means this is a weekly expiry options chain, and these options contracts will expire every week on that mentioned date. Look at the dates mentioned. The next expiry day will be on July 26, 2024, and after the July 26 expiry, the next expiry day will be on August 2, 2024, and that continues according to the mentioned date. What you are seeing here is the gold COMEX commodity options chain. Look at the date intervals. It's a monthly interval, which means this is a monthly expiry option chain, and these options contracts will expire once every month. Here, it's a little bit tricky. They mentioned only the month intervals but didn't mention the expiration day of the month but they have mentioned the expiration date of that month on the side. On some websites, they don't even mention it. In that case, you only have to know it personally by seeing the exchange website. The next thing is, don't think that commodities, stocks, indexes, or any other instruments have only a daily expiry, a weekly expiry, a monthly expiry, or a bi-monthly expiry. Each and every instrument has all kinds of expiries, daily, weekly, monthly, bi-monthly, and yearly too. It's your wish to trade on which expiry option chain you need according to your strategies. It's not a must that you trade only on the nearest expiry options chain. You can choose and trade in any expiry option chain you need. That's one of the reasons they named this option trading, as you have lots of options to trade on the same underlying. Now let's come back to DTE. DTE indicates when the options contract is going to expire from today. DTE indicates how many days are left for the options contract to expire from today. If today is the option contract's expiration day, then it is called zero DTE. If tomorrow is the option contract's expiration day, then it is called one DTE. 
If the day after tomorrow is the option contract's expiration day, then it is called 2DTE. If the options contract is going to expire after 5 days, then it is called 5DTE. If the options contract is going to expire after 10 days, then it is called 10DTE. If the options contract is going to expire after 50 days, then it is called 50DTE. Look at this picture. On this website, they directly mention the DTE. It means 4DTE. After 4 days from today, these option contracts will expire. They mention the expiration date too, July 25th, 2024, which means today's date is July 22nd, 2024. For example, if it's 5 DTE, today's date is July 21st, 2025. Here you may get the confusion that today starts or counts from 0 or 1. Don't worry, it's simple. If it's today and once the regular trading session starts, then you have to count today as 0. If it's today early this morning and if the trading session didn't start, then you have to count today as 1. On most websites, they don't mention the DTE. By seeing the expiry date, you have to know for yourself which DTE the particular option chain is if you are trading today. Even if you don't want to remember DTE, that's fine, but you have to remember that when is the expiry day of the options chain once you take a trade and before taking the trade. I hope you can understand DTE. If you have any doubts, please comment, and we will be happy to clear the doubts. Thanks for watching and supporting us. See you all in the next video.